Assalamu alaikum everybody. Today we'll be looking at germ theory of disease or germ cell theory. But before getting into the video, I'd like to tell you guys that these videos are meant for educational purposes. Things and treatments may change with time. If I get wrong or miss anything, your input is always welcomed in the comments section. Have a cup of tea and let's get started. Germ theory of disease. Diseases are caused by microorganisms, the microbes or pathogens like viruses, bacteria, fungi, parasites that include protozoa and helmets. Louis Pasteur provided the idea of germ theory, while Robert Koch experimentally confirmed germ theory. He was working in Germany on bacillus synthesis and found out that it is responsible for causing anthrax disease. He then established four Koch postulates. Lecture outline, I've introduced you to the germ cell theory. Now we'll be looking at what are the Koch's postulates, the history of germ theory, and at the end, as usual, we'll review the lecture. Koch's postulates are a set of four criteria that explains the germ to disease concept. Its purpose is to establish a causal relationship between a microbe, the pathogen, and a specific disease, like Bacillus anthracis being the microbe and anthrax being the specific disease. Let's talk about these four postulates. The first one is that suspected microbe must be present in all cases of disease and must be absent in all the healthy individuals. Number two is that suspected microbe must be isolated from the diseased person and then it is grown in a pure culture. And then these cultured microbes must reproduce disease in healthy host. This is the postulate number three. The postulate number four is that the suspected microbe must be re-isolated from that experimentally infected host and identified as identical to the original causative agent. If you want to know more about Koch's postulates, I do have a detailed video on that. Be sure to check that out. History. Historically, diseases were believed to be caused by supernatural forces, toxic mists or poisonous vapors, and also imbalances in the bodies for humans that are blood, phlegm, yellow bile, and black bile. Miasma theory. It was once the main explanation for disease spread, but then this theory was replaced by germ theory in late 19th century, and miasma theory is no longer scientifically accepted. There are certain phases in the development of germ theory. First one is ancient India, then Greece and Rome, the Middle Ages, the early modern period, and the 19th and 20th century. And the main people in these two centuries were Louis Pasteur, who gave the idea, and Robert Koch, who actually confirmed the germ theory. Alright guys, let's review everything really quick. Diseases are caused by microorganisms, the pathogen, viruses, fungi, bacteria, protozoa, or helmets. Louis Pasteur was a person who provided the idea of germ theory. Robert Koch was a person who experimentally confirmed germ theory by four Koch postulates. History includes earlier beliefs, like diseases were caused by supernatural forces, toxic mists, vapors, and imbalances in body for humans. Miasma theory and also the phases in the development of germ theory. And that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You've learned something. If you've got any suggestions, feel free to leave them below in the comments. And if you want to connect with me on my socials, I've got my Instagram, Twitter, and I'll catch you in the next video. Till then, assalamu alaikum.